Trying to tell your fellas you've been trying to get the word in, but I'm rambling. I've been going on and on about your eyes and your chocolate skin. Not tonight, you're not hearing it. You like, here we go. You can sweet talk me till my ears fall off. You know, I know what the deal is. I'm the best you ever had. No competition. Don't be giving out what's mine. That's your fucking problem. Always going off a so much shit. I ain't want to say it, but I ain't really feeling it. So why you gotta be like that? Every time I open up, you run away. I wish I never met you. Wish I never got wrapped up in your melodies. The way you used to sing to me. I know one day you'd just get rid of me. I'd just be another one who got too close. I'd just be another one who got too close. Slow down. I just wanna work it out. The baby, slow down. I just wanna work it out. The baby, slow down. I just want to work it out. No, baby, slow down. I just want to work it out. You look so sexy when you get upset. Veins popping out your neck. I'm here to lay you down when you're feeling stressed. I'm trying to get my hands on your silhouette. You say you know what the deal is. So why the hell you tripping? It's not love you've been missing. Only one who keep it dripping. So tell me why you wanna be my ruler. Be the only one I'm true to. Hold me down and be my future. Why she wanna be my hot shooter? I love kissing you and I'm drunk. Licking the liquor off your lips. Feeling the music in my ears With the one I'm supposed to be with I wanna kick it And lie you want How fast can you roll it up and lie you want I need you to roll it up and lie you want How fast can you roll it up and slow down I just wanna work it out Now baby slow down I just wanna work it out Baby, slow down. I just want to work it out. Baby, slow down. I just want to work it out. Work it out. I just want to work it out. I just want to work it out. Baby, slow down. Slow down. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Put my arms around you Can I trust to tell you all my secrets? Baby, I get lost around you On the dance floor when your waistline is my weakness You say you tired of sneaking Why don't you go and leave her alone? I'm begging for your sweetness You say you tired of sneaking I shouldn't tear your ass to pieces. Vinimba lo shuri. Vinimba lo shushu. Vinimba lo shuri. Vinimba lo shushu.
Talk R and B and soul. It's your boy Q Christopher in the building with Tati Danny. What it do? I'm not used to you sitting all over all the way over there. Hmm? I said I'm not used to you sitting all the way over there. Wow, I can't even hear you in my headphones. It's all good. They see you though. <laughs> I missed you last week. What's up? How you been? Oh, it's dirty. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I know. I'm I'm good. You're I good. missed you too. I missed the show. I wanted to tune in, but I, you was I, was, out. I wasn't in allowed. Cali. I was in Long Beach. In some of that West Side. Yeah, we Sometime. had a lot of wedding stuff though, so we yeah. didn't like really soak up, you know, the sun as much as I would have liked to. Right, but right, right. it was fun. It was a beautiful wedding. We had a really good time. Did you catch the bouquet? Um, no, I wasn't interested. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, Anthony was looking at you like, yo, don't, you better not no, catch that bouquet. No, he wasn't. Nah. <laughs> he wasn't. That's what's up. I'm not interested in catching the bouquet. I ain't mad at you. You, you young. You got some time. A little bit. A little bit. That's what's <laughs> up. But before we go any further, I definitely want to. Um, have a moment for Miss Aretha Franklin. Yes, a moment of silence. Rest in peace, Aretha Franklin. Such a uh, legendary, iconic artist. You know, she's definitely paved the way for many people, many yeah, artists. Yeah. She inspired so many different people. So, you know, she'll definitely live on in our lives. So, shout out to her family and her friends, you know. Our hearts and our prayers are with you. Yes, yes, yes. On a lighter note, um, one, I'm glad you're back. Thank you. That's what's up. Um, the second thing is, back. I'm drinking out of one of our cups. Is uh, Mark and I turn around? You out here so. making us pop. <laughs> if, you want, if you want your own cup, <laughs> hit us up. We got you. Hop on the bandwagon before yeah, yeah. it's too late. Before <laughs> That's the motto. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll actually sign it for you too as well. <laughs> Listen, um, we have a great show for you tonight. Um, a young gentleman by the name of Nate Hin- Hinton is in the building from the Hinton Group. Um, we've we we know a lot about fashion. There's so much more be- besides you know styling someone and you know, but there's you know, so much other things behind the fashion industry. So you know, Mr. Nate is going to hit us up. Let us know what's going on. This is his founder and creator. So awesome. I'm proud of Looking him. Looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, don't go too far. This is Nocturnal Vibes. Keep it locked. It gives me fever, no breaking.
Welcome back. It's your boy Q Christopher and Tati Danny. This is Nocturnal Vibes. What to do? What's up? Not much. So I need to ask you a question. Would you be all right if your ex dated one of your friends? It depends on the ex. Depends on how long. It depends, it depends on, on the ex. Yeah. Depends on <laughs> if they are Th- Tatiana as well. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Not Tatiana, but Tatiana. What? Not what, you. what is that? So, yeah. If I, if one of my friends said, you know, I want to smash such and such and such, because mm-hmm. you know they pretty much know I did, but um, I'm like, yeah, if it's somebody that I feel like, you know, but anybody could have sex I with. I think yeah. that's <coughs> smashing and actually dating matter. someone is two different things. Yeah. That's that's the only way I'm giving that break. But other than mm-hmm. that, no. Oh, that's the only way you're giving a break. Yeah, that's the only. Way. I mean, it depends on the. I I personally think it depends on the ex. It depends on the history, mm-hmm. and. And especially if you're one of my girls, like yeah. if you're one of my girls, I don't care what ex it is. Mm-hmm. Like if we're close, like close, close, it's it's over. No, but a, a, associate is associate. Like that. It yeah. depends if it's somebody that was whatever, not as serious, then fine. Because <laughs> sometimes you know situations can be a little bit uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, you go around friends, or you know, y'all hanging out, something might be uncomfortable. Somebody get might get some, you know. Water thrown in their face, somebody get slapped. Some one of the two might. Not even just that though, but um, I was talking about it. So I did put the poll on Instagram, and I'll tell y'all the numbers in a minute. But Uh, I was (laughs) I was talking about it with one of my coworkers, and I was saying, imagine right, imagine one of your friends dating your ex, and y'all broke up because you know they just weren't doing right by you and then imagine watching that person do Do right right. by (laughs) your friend like you know how salty you would be (laughs) like regardless of if you really want to be with that person or not you're going to be salty because it's like oh so i didn't deserve that i didn't deserve that treatment that's crazy because you know you know certain people bring out the best in uh, in others Mm -hmm. so maybe she wasn't on the job well you ain't gonna bring the best out of my friend you could go (laughs) elsewhere (laughs) it ain't happening so According to Instagram, yeah, yeah. right? So this was the question that was posed. Um, would you approve of your ex dating one of your close friends? Because I wanted to make it a point to say close. Okay. All right. And 90%, drum roll please, 90% <laughs> said heck no. <laughs> and the other 10% was like it's whatever. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to stick by. Stick by the heck no? Yes. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> Yeah, cause, yeah, back to the whole uncomfortable situation. So, yeah, you ain't trying to experience all of that. You ain't trying to witness all of that. For real. Yeah, why not? There's too many people out there mm-hmm. to, you know, why choose somebody in your circle or somebody that, exactly. that's familiar it's with your circle. There's too many people in this world for you to be recycling. Yeah. Even Keyword, though guys do recycle. it all the time. <laughs> the, 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 the Tatiana's, yeah. You recycle them. Everybody I don't else. like that you got the Tiana at the end. We got we to gotta <laughs> call a thought of something else. Cl- <laughs> Thank you tripping. Too, too close to your name. <laughs> yes. It's all right. I understand. Yes. I won't, I won't do that to you. But, um, yeah, like uh, the, um, just lost what I was saying. Oh. That quick. It's oh, all good. You'll get it back. <laughs> we'll get it back. Listen, Mr. Hint, Nate Hinton is in the building. We're going to chop it up with him in a moment. Don't go too far. This is Nocturnal Vibes. Whatever you want to do, it's fine with me. We get comfortable. My time is free. Go ahead and get open. Maybe we'll just fall in love. Maybe we'll just fall in love. Maybe we'll just 
and slow but he's in the same time now I'm deep far as I can go and you tell me that it's mine pulling me closer to the limit moving in the TV lights that's when you part it and listen say whatever you want to do ah. it's fine with me Baby, leave it in. No, don't you take it out. Get comfortable. My time is free. We can do it all again. Let's go another take round. Maybe we'll just go. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, pink cookies crushed in a black. <laughs> That's IT band. Every time like so 
You bless my soul, you bless my soul, oh, oh. Nocturnal Vibes. It's your boy Q Christopher and uh, Tati Danny. Danny. (laughs) As we promised, Mr. Nate Hinton is in the building from the Hinton Group. Welcome. Welcome to the show, brother. Thank you. You're welcome. Make sure that mic is. I hope you're not too nervous. We'll go easy on you. (laughs) (laughs) All the more reasons to ask you crazy questions, right? Just because you said so. Yes. (laughs) What's up? We're having a little mic trouble, so hold on a second. Let me get this guy going. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. Probably gotta hook you up real quick. Yeah. So um, I wanna. I can't ask you any questions now because no one will hear you, right? <laughs> it's all good. Is it? Is it working but or not? Not yet, but. Oh. Um, What's up? I actually want to take a trip to uh, California. Really? Yeah, so let's think about doing it. Maybe we could take Nocturnal Vibes out there. I'm with do it. a live show. I'm with it. Yeah. We're going to take our, our teacups with us, too. Yes. <laughs> and we could hit Vegas on the way there. <laughs> you know, I've never, <laughs> so I've never been to California. Uh-huh. I've never been to Vegas. Really? So those are pretty much, I need to put that on my bucket list. Wow. You know, I was just saying, I've been living this year. Uh-huh. Been a, been a, I'm going around the world. been around the world. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your passport is getting thick, huh? No, only only two stamps this <laughs> year, nothing stamps. major. So <laughs> Maybe sign at the end of it. <laughs> it's all good. We all good? All right, Nate, we got you, brother. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're on. You're <laughs> live. It's official, brother. It's official. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Uh, I think my mom's watching this. Aw. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Say mom. Say what's up to mom. What's up, mom? Nate, mama. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so once again, welcome to the show. Thank you for I coming. appreciate it. Thank you guys for having me. You're absolutely welcome. So, the Hinton Group. Yeah. This is uh pretty much your baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your, your child. Uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty much. much. Right now. Pretty much. <laughs> so earlier I was talking about the fashion industry mm-hmm. and there's so many things, so many facets to the fashion industry besides a stylist, you mm-hmm. know. But um th- there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. Yeah. Product placement and all this stuff, trying to get the right persons to wear a brand and so forth. And this is where you came in. You come in. Um your journey talk about your journey. How did you start? Um, I don't know. You want the the long version or the short version? We have a, li- a little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Start um, long and short. I would just cut me off. <laughs> um, you. well, I came from Virginia. You can probably hear it in my accent. Um, and you know, Shaw University. Shout out to Shaw University. Yeah. Yes. I went to an HBCU. Awesome. Shout out to nice, HBCU. Nice. Yes. Um, from there, um, moved to DC. Got a job in like at federated which is like corporate you know finance at the time okay and uh, i think i realized that i wanted to do something more creative um i knew at that time that i wanted to run my own show i just didn't have the tools so i moved here um start going out meeting people you know um met this woman who worked at prada she gave me a job i was at prada for like Five years. Was she throwing throwing her coats on your on your desk when she walked in? Uh, she threw her coats on some Couple other people's desk. <laughs> <laughs> Not you. Not mine. We right. were cool. Like nowhere I, nowhere near the desk. No, we were right. cool. I was actually the favorite. I think. But, Aww. Um, from there, Diesel to then to uh, PR agencies, um, the biggest in the world, and then um, both of them actually. Um, then I was fired from one. Went to the other one. Then the the one that fired me asked me to come back <laughs> to torture me some more. That's how good you are. Yeah, I think right, so. Right. Um, you know, and you're asking nobody to come back if, if, if you're right. messing with them. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So, and of course, exactly. you was like, well, what kind of money are you talking yeah, about? Well, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're going to fire me. Yeah, I yeah. see to come back. I <laughs> think I ain't going to ask. But no, it was it was a good experience. Um, right. I worked on some, you know, some big brands. Um, 
and I was blessed. And you know, you know, it's a tough industry. You know, it's you know, there's a lot of personalities. Um, you have that thick skin to deal with it. Yeah. Um, I think my upbringing prepared me for it. You know, um, so uh, I think going into the last year of being at that agency, um, I just seen some things personally that. I just didn't want to deal with anymore, you know, um, you know, people popping off on you like crazy stuff, you know, HR stuff. Right. And it was like, okay, the only way that I could have, you know, go to lunch when I want, not be at somebody's beck and call. Like it's, it was really that simple. You know, it, yeah. work at home for like yeah. three hours right. and then go deal with all the BS, <laughs> right, right. you know, of other people's stuff. Um, but be able to get other my people's own. stuff. That's, yeah. That's the, that's the thing. You get up to work, to go to work on other people's stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, okay, so enough of that. Uh, let me <laughs> get up and deal with my own stuff. And right, when you start right. looking in the mirror and you're like, dang, I'm mad at something. Like you, you mad at you? Yeah. You know how long are you gonna be mad at yourself, right? right. So, um, I, I just um, from there decided that I was gonna start my own thing. Okay. You know, I reached out with one client. You know, um, a fragrance brand. They trusted me. Startup um, Hawthorne. Shout out to Hawthorne. Can they? They can see me. Yeah, they can see. Oh you. shit! Excuse, <laughs> excuse my language. It's okay. Um, but uh, you know that. Then public school, which is a client of mine before, um, ended up, you know, saying, hey, Nate, we need you, da 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 That happened. Um, and then w- one of my newer clients, which was the, you know, I, I call him the trifecta because he was the one that gave me the chance. And the, that third, I was like, if I get one more client, if I get three, good. I could pay my rent, you know. I hear that. So then I got the third one and called mom i went home for thanksgiving actually and i told my mom we took me and all of the kids i got six eight nieces and nephews we took seven of them out to eat or six of them out to eat and you know my nephew's over there messing up some ribs my mom sitting across from me at applebee's and i was like i'm about to quit my job and start my own company she was like i don't know baby (laughs) (laughs) then i came back you know um december 8th you know last year i just you know Handed my resignation, told them what I was going to do. Um, the VP at the time, you know, me and her, we still cool. Um, and, you know, she's just like, you know, don't go, but go, you know. Right, so I right, jumped out, right. you know. It's like take the chance and 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 do things for yourself. So that's the long story answer to answer your direct question of, like, what it is that I actually do. Mm-hmm. Um, um, my foundation is in PR, marketing um more so brand development i like to say okay. so it's not uh, while i specialize in fashion that's where my history comes from um a lot of my interests personally have allowed me to broaden my scope of work you know and 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 do things that i you know always wanted to do but haven't done including music festivals i just nice. did that first one in june nice. um charity galas and charity organizations you know i did the a, a major one in 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 april of this year um you know i, I want to get into sort of an art thing but like i'm not a I'm like an art aficionado so when you say like, art as in you know painting? contemporary uh, urban art okay is what i would like to promote and mm-hmm. be a part of and bring people into you know a certain world of that because you know i don't I've been in a lot of big envir- or big companies that, you know, cater to a certain type of person. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like companies that cater to all type of people, right. you know, yeah. but not just one, you know, um, not a particular race thing or nothing like that, but a, a more inclusive thing. And I think that, you know, I was close, this close to getting this art project. Um, I got it, but it just didn't, you know, I learned the power of no with this yeah. project actually mm-hmm. um i got it had the contract and it was a great art project i thought i was gonna like you know show people that i could do art stuff too yeah. i can promote this i can market this i could bring sponsors into this thing you know um but you know it didn't work out but it's going to eventually so i promote things and press um not so much i used to focus on editorial a lot but the world has evolved beyond that um so i my what I like to think I do is I take brands from from one place to the next, you know, um, through different media outlets like this, 
Correct. Like what y'all do. Mm-hmm. I was just talking to you. Um, and I was like, oh, I got this client that you actually might like. <laughs> yeah. You should have her on your radio show. <laughs> um, but that, you know, um, VIP um, type of thing, celebrity things, mm-hmm. when it comes to fashion, like a lot of um, clients, now it's more influencer and celebrity. So it's mm-hmm. not just um, celebrity only, but celebrity mm-hmm. still is a, an important factor in like, it can change the designer's life, you know? So a lot of people from Instagram, as far as influencers. Yeah, like there was a picture of Janet Jackson today that just came up mm-hmm. wearing uh, Pierre Moss, uh, one of my clients. And um, he texted me the picture. My coordinator texted me the picture at the Thanks. same time. And we were like, yeah, you know, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Thing, like right? literally happening while I'm sitting here. So essentially, yeah. it's like another facet of um, PR work that you're doing. Yeah. So you're not necessarily like a publicist per se. Uh, that's a part of what we do so you know the work of a publicist Mm -hmm. you know is sort of fading into marketing right now you know it's not just a typical publicist where you write a press release Mm -hmm. you reach out to editors or journalists and get them to write a story you know it's it's more um full circle so um i'm probably coming up with the story reaching out to the person to tell the story Mm. you know then promoting the story on different you know social channels or the company's channels Mm -hmm. but then also you know you know i've come up with a creative concept for ad campaigns that's Mm -hmm. being shot right now Mm -hmm. casted that ad campaign um which normally would not have been done you know by somebody that's a publicist so i refuse to call myself a publicist now is that because of the way that the industry is shifting or that's just because it's something that you enjoy like doing all the uh uh, ins and outs of what you're i think it's a combination of both okay you know i think it's um the world is changing Mm -hmm. there's a sea change happening um in the world you know i don't think it's just the industry you know the industry is definitely changing but there's 100% a sea change of things shifting. So yeah. it's not, and, and, and with social media, it's so democratic, you know, that people can create their own, you know, fantasy realities yeah. of stuff. So they control the narrative. Yeah. You know, you can't be like, oh, I'm going to put this in the magazine and all y'all going to go and buy it. Yeah. They're like, right. no. So much more. Exactly. You know, this girl on Instagram got a million followers and she's like telling you what to buy now. Right. Like mm-hmm. it's not, it's right. no longer that authority figure. Absolutely. Um, Which is crazy. Of people like reading the magazine mm-hmm. and people don't look like you mm-hmm. or, yeah. you know, and you're, it's, you're aspiring to be something that does, you can't even relate to. Right. You know, you're aspiring to have some stuff that you can't even afford yeah. or that you don't know about. You know what I mean? You just like it because this entity told you that mm-hmm. it's the cool thing. Right. Right. And brands are thriving off of the social media yeah. advertising is insane. Yeah. They don't even it, I even think it companies. like even cuts like what they have to do. Yeah. Like you give it to a social media influencer and yeah, that's it. It's it. Right. It's yeah. it. <laughs> you can sell some things. And from I the can imagine media. that it cut costs in so many different ways that that's probably why they I'm make s- so much money. These influencers act, yeah, they actually yeah. make so much more off. Because of it's cutting marketing. out the middleman, it's right. cutting out so many different areas no, that no, no, they no, used to no, pay. No, I'm still the middleman. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to cut no. <laughs> Watch your mouth. No, I'm- <laughs> <laughs> Definitely still no, needed. absolutely. No. Obviously, you're still needed. Yeah. No, but I'm saying in general, like. No, I get it. No, you're it's right. Out there. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're absolutely right. It's out there. And, and, like and direct theory. marketing. Yeah, for sure. You're absolutely right. There's no need to put it. Well, there's a need, but mm-hmm. there's no there's no real need to put something um, in a magazine that's gonna come out six months after mm-hmm. you've already seen it. Right. You know, somewhere right. else. You but know the thing saying? is, you're doing it all, so you're not gonna be cut out regardless. Uh, no, well, you're all in the mix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, put me anywhere on God's green earth. Yeah. I'll trip on my worth. Nice. Listen, um, we got more with uh, Nate Hinton and the Hinton Group. Oh, really? Don't go too far. <laughs> this is Nocturnal Vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Fought it long enough, now let's stop to face it It's written on the wall, written all over our faces Don't be scared, girl, come over here No need to heed permission, but that in position Only you, do me like you do, girl, you the truth 
Magic City with the moves. You better fuck me like you got something to prove. Girl, come show me. Like I'm the only one. Turn the lights out. I'm gonna take you down under these sheets and let you wrap me all night, girl. I gotta hear you scream, hear you scream. It's your boy Q Christopher, Tati Danny, and Nate Hinton from the Hinton Group. Yes. Hey y'all. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. So tell us some one of your craziest uh, fashion stories or one of your most interesting, intriguing client. Uh, well, interesting, intriguing client. I don't want nobody. A very jealous. passionate. Client. I don't want anyone to be <laughs> jealous. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say. Um, Public school and I have have been together the longest, so Max and Dow are more like family. So, and at any given moment, you know, it could be um, complete utter chaos and then laughter out of nowhere. That they're, 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 if you know them, they're they're really personable people. But in in the environment, I can't even really explain it. They're just it's like family, you mm-hmm. know. So I think that that probably um, we're probably the closest in terms of um because i've had them the longest okay um uh pierre moss kirby he probably is the one that keeps me on my toes the most um yeah he he is he's full of ideas but we it's good because we we bounce off of each other like we have the same sort of energy creatively i feel like and so it it works um and i he's already given me crazy moments but i won't even put him out there like that <laughs> <laughs> i won't even put him out there um but he's special um crazy moments man there have been a lot i worked at prada <laughs> there's a whole movie it's about whole. it yeah. <laughs> you know what Pretty i mean okay. i've seen windows i've heard windows shatter oh, i've wow. seen um don't don't quote me on that um <laughs> i've I this one time I won't name names. Um, uh, one time at bank camp. This <laughs> one time at bank camp. You know that that one time. Um, I'm in the um, I'm in an office, and this is this is one of the times where I was just like, damn, why don't darn why don't I work with people? 
work for people. I'm sitting at, at my desk, and it's like two days before a, a show. I do, I run fashion shows basically, mm-hmm. you know, and if in a, 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 a proper fashion show takes months to plan, it's a lot that goes into a 20 minute show. So, you know, it's the day before. By this time, you know, I've been up all night for two weeks. Uh, my assistant's been, like, with me, ride or die. Like, we've been, like, in the trenches right. of everything. Um, so, I mean, we've been getting sponsorship. We did the whole seating. We reached out to all the press. We made sure we had it covered. And somebody told somebody that they didn't get an invitation. You know, this the person who I was working for. And... Mm. um that person um, comes over to my desk and it's sort of a, an, an open office and asks me in a very strong, <laughs> loud voice, what the F is wrong with you? Are you retarded? Um, are you stupid? You know, mm. show me the person who like didn't do this one thing. I'm like, there's 500 people that's come into the show. One person out of those 500 said they didn't get an invitation. So... Um, <laughs> You mad at me? <laughs> <laughs> you mad or not? <laughs> like, you wow. mad at me? But yeah, that was that was one of those moments where I was just like, yo, I, I really can't. No, this um, was a that. supervisor or someone above you? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, like, dealing with something like that, all you in your mind is, yo, I, I was just going to walk out and don't turn back. Well, I counted, <laughs> no, nah, I, I counted for 10 seconds. Mm. I prayed. Got in my, I prayed in my mind. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and then I, what I normally do is a blank stare. Um, so I did a blank stare <laughs> looking at him and I said, um, don't worry, I'll take care of it. Mm. Continue to go crazy. Right. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. You know, I don't, I, I, t- I, t- I generally don't go crazy with mm. other people. What's your sign? I'm an Aquarius. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> 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 I'm a true Aquarius. Okay. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. See, yeah. I would, I would have flipped. I pro- maybe yeah. I don't know. It depends. What's your sign? I'm a Pisces. Oh, I'm, really? I'm very like. What what day? March 15th. Oh, okay. Well, you're almost Aries though. No. 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 Really? Like Aries is like 20s. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm a true Pisces. Oh. <laughs> but that's crazy. Yeah. I can't imagine. Yeah, it's more like all that. Imagine doing working in in this industry for 15 years mm-hmm. and, and things that. That like that have happened yeah. over wow. and over and over again wow. so it makes you strong mm-hmm. um and luckily my mom raised me right mm-hmm. you know so i know how to deal with people and, and plus character. you know I'm, I'm from the inner city so you know it, it, you can't really <laughs> yell at me and like thank you scaring me really right, 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 yeah. right. you have to, to pop some guns yeah. for, me to, <laughs> for me to run because <laughs> you're living in new york right now too, right on top right of right yeah it's it's uh it's interesting now that you have your own company. How do you? Now, I'm pretty sure it's your goal not to treat anyone like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Setting and setting an example. No, 100. percent Um, you know, one of the my most um, one of the most fulfilling things about um, what I do, and, and if I didn't do this, you know, I always said I would be a teacher. Hmm. Um. One of my most fulfilling things, my sister's calling me like crazy. I was like, listen to this radio show, you know, like now she's calling. I'm just going to put her on <laughs> the phone so she could like hear it. Hear it she right. could hear me talking, but like she don't know. Um, oh, <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Um, but yeah, she's she's mad happy. Um, I'm gonna turn the music down. Can, you, can y'all hear? <laughs> no, it's all good. Uh, we it's can okay. hear. Uh, uh, anyway. Um, she can share the moment. It's all mm-hmm. good. But yeah, you know, um, one of the most fulfilling things um, is is being able to teach people, and being able to affect people in a certain way. Mm-hmm. Um, so be that leader. Yeah, and you know when when somebody is working for you and 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 trying to accomplish the same goal that you're trying to accomplish, um, you don't want them to come to work disgruntled and all. upset with you. You know, it's like, come on, man, like your productivity. I, level yeah, will be very low. I'm like, you know, one of the girls told me, one of my girls now, she says to me. Well, she said in front of me. She didn't say it to me. Um, I don't know if she knew I heard her, but she's just telling someone that, you know, this is the best boss I've ever had. And, you know, because he's da 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 And I'm like, dang, you feel like that? I went home very happy that night, you know, mm-hmm. because uh, I felt like I put a lot into making sure that she learns, um, mm-hmm. making sure that she grows um, so much so that she's probably going to leave me. Sooner but, or later, you know, but. It, you know, it's what it it's is. The way the world goes. I huh? feel like it's if, if if I'm not teaching her how to 
um, do the job well and, and better than what I did at her level, um, then I'm not doing my job. So, yeah. yeah. Very yeah. good. Very and good that, example. And that's an awesome, that's an awesome mind uh, yeah. thought Mindset. process right. yeah. because a lot of times they don't want you to be anywhere near where they are. Yeah. So they're going to keep you ground yeah. level as much the as base. they can. Right. So right. that's awesome. I'm not afraid. You I know? commend that. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. awesome. I can agree with that because I'm not afraid either. I want you to grow. I want to see you do your best. Yeah. yeah. And if I can say, uh, you know, I was there, I witnessed, you know, your growth. That's all I want to see you grow and evolve. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah, that's a beautiful thing. So yeah. I commend you. Because too that. many people are threatened by that. Yeah. They are. So yeah. because then you you turn out better than them, and then not in, you know. In but that's any that's the way it was supposed to be. Yeah, it, it's intended that way, <laughs> yeah. but egos get hurt yeah. and it's over. <laughs> so. Nah, I'm like, look. <laughs> I need you to be able to step in when I'm not yeah, there. I'm like, not come there. on. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to not tell you. Like, yeah. I'm, it should. And those communi- those awesome. lines of communication is open. So if she is ready or whenever she is ready to move on, yeah. she'll definitely be like, you know, I thank you for, for grooming Absolutely. me. And, 100%. You know, and you wouldn't be you wouldn't be upset at I all. I would never. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. She's, awesome. she's, listen, you know, I feel like I've always been like that, though. I was like student government president type of guy mm-hmm. who felt like, you know, I, I was always the, here to like help people. You know, I, I, you know, the other reason I started this company was to leave something to my nieces and nephews, nice. you know, so that they see that, you know, there's, you know, your uncle created this thing so that, you know, when you graduate from college, you can come and work here, you know, mm. and you can extend that thing, you know, um, and, and, and furthering our family tree and like building something that is that can hopefully become a legacy of things you know it's nice. obviously too early in the in the game to be talking about that but um it's, it's put it's it out there in the early. universe yeah it's, put it out there in yeah, the universe what early. i want to happen you mentioned um if you weren't doing this you would be teaching yeah would you consider teaching how to start a hinton group uh, i would say um or means you know pr uh, one of my th- one of the things that I I was doing a lot before I I started focusing a lot on building this company mm-hmm. was to go to speak at high schools and and universities. Okay. You know, I've been to St. Francis, I've been to several intern programs in the city, um, several youth organizations in the city, just talking about, especially with you know um, people of color um, yes. looking at this industry in a certain way. Um, if you don't see somebody who looks like you, you might not think that it's possible to do certain things. You know, I saw Diddy at the time, you know, and I was like, oh, Diddy got Sean John. And I knew I wanted to work in fashion, but I went to school in North Carolina. So there was none, none of that. But I, I saw Diddy mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, OK, I don't know what he's doing. I know he's not the designer. I know right. I'm not a designer, but I'm about to be that. <laughs> right. You know, so <laughs> you wanted the shiny shoes and you wanted to. I, you know what? The picture that you put on the um the the promo it, yeah. tools, the promo collateral. That, that, that looked like a somebody Ciroc, hit Ciroc. my Instagram box and, and said shiny suit, man. Kevin did that. Yeah. He was like shiny suit, man. I was yeah. like, nah, shiny Prada suit, man. <laughs> oh, there's a, there's a difference. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not the same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah, Big difference. but yeah, I, I I would give back to the community, um, you know, and I would tell people that you know achieving your dreams is possible, you know, um, and that if I did it, you know, and I look like me, right. you know, then you can do it, no matter what you look like, you know what I mean. So, um, and it is it is I can understand it being a little bit, um, hard to conceive mentally because when I went into the first boardroom you know, as an executive, you know, I was the only person of color in that room. Um, and so it, I had to grow really fast. And mm-hmm. I luckily had gone to an HBCU that taught me that I had to do everything two times better than anyone. Um, so mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't, e- e- I, at first I was a little bit intimidated, but then after, you know, this woman checked me, um, and told me to be myself, yeah. I was like, oh, you getting all this <laughs> Norfolk, Virginia. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. yeah, so you know, um, I commend individuals like yourself, young individuals who are interested in starting a business, and not only starting a business to you know line your pockets, but no. also to teach, to be to no. inform individuals, to bring people together. I I always talk about networking and doing things that will up the community, and um, you're definitely doing your part. Yes. 
and I would love to, to, to definitely work work with the hinting group, man. Yeah, yeah we gotta Absolutely. do some work together. I mean, I always invite you to my events. You Absolutely. know, you know. Do I show up? I don't yeah. know. I, that's that's well, that. obviously you gotta invite Tati. Cause. Okay, see, I don't know. <laughs> I invite you to that's the events on the on the VIP. Yeah, so I'll like, do, I I never not. Really, you know. You? I'm sorry that you don't tell you. You got to tell gonna, your partner. If you're going to put him on the spot, you can't be wrong <laughs> in any situation. Uh, okay. Let me sip my tea. Right? Yeah, no, sip there's, it. Actually, there's more coming up in, in a few weeks. So right, I'll see you, you know, That is, you know, Fashion Week is coming up. Speaking yes. of, um, what are you preparing for Fashion Week? Man, um, my shows have doubled in number since wow. February. So, um nice. I'm literally, I was sitting on the phone here. It's still going mm-hmm. off. As soon as I leave here, I'm <laughs> going back home to do some more work. Yeah. Um, but I have eight shows. Um, uh, public school has this huge event. They're um, opening a store on September 4th. Wow. Nice. Um, Labor Day weekend. Yeah, awesome. the day after Labor Day. So I don't nice. have a Labor Day weekend. Aww. I don't get to take a day off. Um, I'll turn up for you. Thank you very much. Oh, don't you worry, baby. I'll be at a Labor Day weekend either. I'll be at a wedding all weekend. Uh, no, nah, I'm, I'm a, I'll be working. Yeah. Sure. But no, there's the, I'm gonna we're gonna open the store on September fourth mm-hmm. here in uh, in New York, city? Three Howard Street. Okay. Um, at Three Howard, that store is gonna open. Mm-hmm. Um, they're dropping a shoe with Nike. I think that was announced today. Hopefully, and giving it away, but. Um, they're dropping that shoe at Air Force One with mm-hmm. Nike on the same day. A basketball tournament. There's a basketball tournament at Forsyth and um, East Houston at from seven to nine. Mm-hmm. You need to be on the list. <laughs> okay. So you're telling us all this because we're gonna be on the yeah, list. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I mean, you know, I'll give you, you know, I'll give y'all a press pass. Yeah. Um, you know, but yep, that's happening on the fourth. I have a show on the fifth. Mm-hmm. I have two shows on the sixth. Um, so I'm pretty sure you have a huge team. You're moving and shaking. Yeah. For the most part. For a fashion week, I do enlist yeah. a full, like, 10. Okay. 10 people that I move with mm-hmm. through all of those events. So from the 4th through the 11th, I have a show almost every day or an event every Now, what day. kind of background do you typically um, look, for? look for in terms of people that work with you? A mix. Okay. I don't necessarily need you to have worked in fashion, actually. Smart. Um I actually want you to be different and to have a different experience. You can bring something else totally different yeah, to the like table. Yeah, like push my mind in a different way yeah. because I've been in fashion for 15 years. So if you come from art or if you come from business or you come from retail or you come from teaching. Actually, one of the girls I'm with now was a teacher in wow. like Kansas City before. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, it, it different um, perspectives, you know, is, is what I like. So... Um, the team that I've assembled for this fashion week is 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 diverse, different races, different genders, different backgrounds, and all coming together for like my craziness <laughs> for the next <laughs> th- three, three weeks. Boys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. tell the world where they can find you. Yeah, yeah. Um, dang, I'm so bad at this. You um, just got a plug. <laughs> okay, so at Instagram <laughs> at the Hinton Group, H I N T O N Group. The Hinton Group. Um, you can find my personal on there, but it's it's about the Hinton Group. It's right about now. the yes. Hinton Group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's also about the man behind the Hinton Group. Oh, yeah. Which is I, you. You know what? It kinda, there is a story. There I, is a journey. So I suppose. Yeah. I suppose. <laughs> you know, I feel like once I get to like a, a two, three year mark, okay. you know, I really appreciate y'all having me here. Absolutely. You know, have me back in two or three years, right? Mm-hmm. And I can actually talk about something that, you know, we move the needle by doing something culturally that mm-hmm. affected people or, um, you know, some other stuff other than the fact that I do a lot of fashion shows and events. Well, listen, and the like fact that. that you started the Hinton Group, that's a big moment. Yep. That's mm-hmm. a big moment. So yep. we good. I appreciate <laughs> that's it. That's big journey. things right now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank so you shout out to much. you. Com- continue to do what you do. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to um, keep me in the loop. Yeah. As well yeah, as I'll, I'll invite you to these <laughs> events. I'll, I'll see if y'all allow come. I'll him to keep me in the loop. <laughs> I'll see if y'all come. <laughs> hey, mama. Hey, mama. My mama watching. Aww. I'm sure that's why my sister called. But yeah. That's oh, she's up. still on the phone. Yeah, she's still on the Hi, phone. Hi, sister. <laughs> Shout out to the family. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. So, listen, once again, I want to thank you. Continue to do what you do, yep. brother. Um, all the blessings, man. Appreciate Keep it. it up, thank, man. You. thank you. You guys are awesome, too. Thank you. It's kind of dope. So I'm glad you I'm glad yeah. you like it, man. Yeah. <laughs> listen, I want to shout out to all the listeners. Thank you for tuning in. We're here each and every Thursday. Um, Tati. What's up? Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> I missed you last week, so Aww. good to see you. 
good to be back. I won't be leaving anytime soon. All right. It's all good. (laughs) All right. So, listen. Tune in next week. We're here. I'm turning the vibe, baby. Tell me what you came to do, shawty. Yeah, I know what you came to do, shawty. I know you got a man, but he ain't up in the plan. It's in my nature to get naughty. I'm trying to do some things for you. Yeah, I'm trying to get a ring for you. House in the chain for you. Shit, I even made a lane for you. But you still don't get it because you're fucking with the lame mix. I pull up to your city right now. She like, boy, you in my city right now? She out in your city right now. Put that hammer by the lay that pipe down. And fuck what your friends say. And I know it ain't your birthday, it's a Wednesday. Brand new Mercedes. Happy Wednesday. I know you got a man. So tell me what you came for. Help me understand. I'm trying to figure out what you came for. Think I know what you came for. You say it's nothing, but I know it's something Cause you got a husband and I know you love him So help me understand Oh, I think I know what you came for Think I know what you came